<laughs> what the fuck is a popsicle bag? I just want to make I, I don't I want to make sense of what you're trying to say. What are you looking at? Go give me that fucking milk dog. She's been she was outside the whole fucking time you were gone. Like literally the whole time. Witchy, what's a popsicle bag? A freezy wrapper. How is a freezy wrapper a popsicle bag? I don't understand that. It doesn't make sense. It's neither of those things. It's not a popsicle because there's no stick in it. And it's not a bag. It's a wrapper. I'm getting yelled at because I didn't know. Apparently, I didn't know what a popsicle bag was. I'm sorry. Cobra Kai, what's up? Just call them popsicles, right? Popsicles, little frozen juice with a stick and a wrapper. Then there's a freezy, the long tube, it's sealed on all ends. Pops, popsicle bag. Who knows what that is? Okay. Play the casting of Frank Stump. What the fuck? There it is. From the world of Dead by Daylight. So that probably was the saloon you were looking at then. Is this made from the people that made Until Dawn and everything? So this is a behavior game. I thought it was... I thought you said it was from the people who made the... Uh... Oh, okay. I'm, witch I'm, I'm witchy. I'm, I'm witchy. Good, are you? Wow. I'm good. I'm good. Bo bo popsicle back. Fucking nailed it there, babe. Okay, we got there. We go. I can give me some room here. Uh, I'm good. How are you? Words are hard some days. Yeah. Most days. Okay. Start. Oh yeah, this looks exactly like Dead by Daylight shit. What else is super massive games done? Okay, okay, okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Die Alone, Die Together collection. Obviously, we're going to die alone. New game. New save. Yeah. Choose your path. Observer, survivor, sacrifice. Observer, you will witness suffering, but survival is expected. Survival. You will not escape torment, but you may survive. And then sacrifice is leave behind all hope. We're going to do survivor. Yeah, my wife, she just came back from the gym. She was, uh, she did back day today. So every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives. I'm assuming some will not. Some will result in re, 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 re. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. The One the Ring to rule them all. Story whispered to me centuries ago. That's close. They didn't tell. Yeah, that's what Lena was saying. Of a yeah. Timeless power. That uh, that dark Infinite pictures anthology is really good. Did full body workout with Joe. <laughs> I always felt like I had baby giraffe legs, just big wobbly knees. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. She sounds familiar. The casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My movie man voice. I remember when I was a kid. That was always my favorite. I would always watch like Just for Laughs and, and like uh, Studio uh, Studio 54 or something like that. I think the name was. Two show with late night comics. It was always awesome. Cab, what's up, dude? 
<clears throat> and there was always that one guy that did the the movie voice. And you always like do that little skit where it's like Pauly Shore or Chris Farley is Batman with Pauly Shore and Robin and shit. It's always funny. But it always made me want to do the movie, scary movie voice guy. Voices all the time. What the hell am I stopping on? So is this a dog? Are we a dog? Had your fantasy draft this Oh, how'd you do? How'd you do? Toby, Baker, oh, these are all the actors. What was that fucking gasoline? Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how the YouTube and this one got linked together like that. I don't know how to separate them. I have no idea what I fucking did. I did something stupid, that's for sure. What it was, I don't know. How to separate them? No, even less. I'll try, though. I do. It's funny because it keeps popping up. I'm like, who the fuck's following me? Nobody, because it was on YouTube. What? Cedar Steel Corporation. The Burning Maw, Cedar Steel Mills, 1963. <laughs> Graphics are good so far. <laughs> You took Shaquan Barkley? Stroud's a good pick. Swift, Jamal Chase. He's about to become the most expensive wide receiver in all of NFL history. Collins, Burgess, and Debo, nice. Cincy defense. I'm assuming you're the night Not watchman bad. here. Not bad. Set up. Good job, dude. But just you, covering the entire site. Oh no, I got help. Where are they now? On duty. Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? A dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Oh, shit. I need to ask you a few questions concerned. You and the dog are... Security fan, though. Let's we'll just go pretty basic, you know. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose yeah, don't, of. Don't sound too threatening. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Eagles are going to take Officer him. Yeah, but they're going to tell him to do it, but he's not going to fucking do it. He's good. He's fucking too good that at that. Boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Uh, I'm getting a little, yeah, skeptical. It sounds like a lot of ground to cover. Can I check your records? Keep it cash. Keep it cash, right? Are Jack, sure? dude, 33 so, months. So far, you got, you got the record. Talk about that yesterday. Right. Thanks, dude. What's going on? Yes, it's been a long fucking time, man. That's a, I, I think we were just talking about this the other day. Who was it that just They're in the 30s, too. I think it might have been Kent, no. Well, it was Mr. J. Yes, Mr. J's in the 30s. You guys are right after each other. It's amazing. Uh, no anything suspicious. Been drinking. No, I don't want to push that button yet. We'll just keep it cash. Have you noticed anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? I don't want to alert him too early because he's going to give me a, some bullshit and it's going to go wrong. Nothing. Mr. J was at 30s. Man, you guys are really necking. That's amazing. Fucking well, thank I you, dude. Amazing. You don't believe me. Thank you. I appreciate you. Boss. My boss, Sheriff Kusich. Right. My boss. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. Well, I'm not the sheriff. 
That's all this year. Still no one's check. Yeah, let's go with that one. So what you're <clears> telling <throat> me is nobody's actually checked the mail. How was work today, Jack? The boy. I know you said you had to get up super when early. It fucking nobody. sucks. Does that include murder? I got about six and I had no, to take Tom, a nap. It does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <laughs> Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Thank you for your help, Tom. I think this guy's harmless. I don't think there's anything with this guy. I don't think he's hiding anything. See, he's just a drunk, that's all. You're dealing with my shenanigans. You like my shenanigans. Stop. Did that pretty smooth? Cool. That's good. Got some goofy shenanigans. They're fun shenanigans. Alright, so I feel like I'm going to have to walk around here. Nope. Did the people who made the Until Dawn in this series, did they make Heavy Rain as well? Who made Heavy Rain? And Oh, th they also made that Detroit Becoming Human game, didn't they? Heavy Rain was a really good game. Merlin. That's a company, Quantic Dream. Didn't say it was a bad thing, but definitely interesting. Oh, Beyond Two Souls one with Elliot Page, right? Yeah, I never played that one. They had a a ghost companion, Aiden or Aiden or something like that. Can I, okay, so shift is it's go for a little window. Open window. I can get in through there. Where? I'll say fucking open window. Oh, that window. <gasps> you like the what? My ass is like sunglasses or. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to get... What the fuck is going on here? Why is that doing that? Huh. Search for the missing child. Great. So, I'm uh, there is a missing child here. Then. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the fucking shit scared out of me as soon as I know it's going to happen. That fucking dog's going to jump out at me. Squeeze. Fucking couldn't agree more, Jack. Very glad we met each other. It's one of the things I'm grateful for all the streaming and social media stuff I've done is it's got me to meet some really fucking cool people. Uh, well, hello. Yeah, the controls are pretty clunky, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to blame me because I'm pretty good at that shit. So, it's definitely the game, right? Stuck on. Oh, what am I stuck on? Hello? What? Oh, wait, was there something over here? No. Oh, you most definitely live up to the cool part, dude. Most definitely. What was that? What was that? I could do something? Was it over here? Was I looking over here? You will not be able to return to the area. Move. Okay. Weird. What's this? Can I interact? Yeah. Move Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fellow's going to have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front no one's working nights for a while from Hux. Friday is circled. Afternoon 14 to 2200 hours. Harold, Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone. Oh, hello. And Lou Osterman, graveyard 22 to 6 a.m.
Yep, something's definitely gonna happen. Get to the door. Is that a door? That's a door, right? Why not fucking crazy? It looks like a door. It is a door. Oh, the fucking music. Come on, man. Something bad. Oh my god, it's so sensitive. Mitch Ripper, welcome to Beaver. Good thing for the fall. What's going on? Okay, so I gotta find this crew, I guess. I'm not allowed to go there. I feel like it didn't take that long to get through the first time. Or am I crazy? Okay, where was that window I climbed in from? Right there. Yeah, for sure, dude. I'm, I'm, uh, I got some free time this week for sure. I'll give it a show. Your videos on Instagram are hilarious. Surprised I don't get more views on here. Yeah, I don't know. I've been streaming for like seven years. Don't know either. Different kind of beast, I guess. So you know, it's a different world. Should I go this way? I cannot. This fucking dog is gonna scare the bejesus out of me. I'm not ready for this. Your hamster is storm. We've lost power. God damn, again? We had that huge storm not too long ago down here, and uh, fucking luckily enough, we didn't lose power. Daddy with the prime stuff. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank, thank you. Okay, where am I going? I think I have to go back in that room. Oh yeah, these. I, I'm not a fan of these controls. A little clunky. Maybe I have to go in that area that says you're not allowed to go here. I'm clearly missing something. And see, that doesn't feel like it was as long as the other way. Or am I crazy? Okay. But there's nowhere for me to go over here. What do I gotta do? Oh, I have to hold it. Move. Okay. Man, I would not fucking want to walk through a metal factory in the rain in the middle of the night all by myself. I would not want to do that with a fucking group of people either. Like, I've seen enough movies to know that there's going to be some kind of monster Hello? hiding inside this factory. Oh, Anyone shit. here? It's police. Hold up. I've been fucking doing that the whole time. What are you talking about? Jesus. Fucking light bulb. It popped. Like, as you're running up to it and fucking scared the shit out of me. Babe, fight the light bulb for me. When your back is jacked, you. Who's there? Okay. That sounded not human. And wet at the same time, so that's a what the fuck. I swear to God, if this shit comes down to me having to do some fucking kind of like quick time shooting or something like that, I'm gonna fucking die so quick. I do not like the sounds of that. Can I go in here? No, that door is closed. I don't even want Ugh, to run. Smells like death. Well, that's not a good smell, dude. I mean, you're a cop. You have to know that. 
It sounds like a pack of wolves eating a carcass. I don't want to go down here. Yep, fuck me. Here it comes. Hey, uh, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <laughs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? It's very glitchy. I don't like that. Nothing good. Yeah, it's very laggy. I don't think it's the internet. Yep. Dog's eating the fucking... There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. <laughs> If you two made proper acquaintance, what the God fuck is he it. eating? <clears throat> I don't want to inspect this. Why do I want to inspect this? It's like a fucking ear. What am I missing? What am I missing? There gotta be something I'm missing. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? I'm feeling like this guy's gonna die. I'm What's gonna call that? that. Some kind of wiener mate? I'd call that I said it was a fucking ear. This still reminds me of L.A. Noir. So we had to look at things. Will you look at that? That yeah. damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? It came from someone else. There's no proof it does. Let's do that. There's no proof it does. But what if do yourself a favor and park that thought? Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. Oh, there's like a bucket of human fucking remains over here, right? Like, holy shit. I can't look at that? You think that'd be something you'd want to look at? No, I'll just go chase the dog? Great. What was that sound? I have a, a haunting suspicion it's going to come Stay down behind. to me shooting this dog. And then that guy losing his shit on me. Yeah. The dog's going fucking crazy and he's eating humans. Or the dog lifted a sewer grate and he jumped himself into the sewer. Because dogs can do that. So, what is this thing? The grate? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Find something to pry open the gate. All right. That was a fucking guillotine at first. That's what I need. We have to climb this. <sighs> Conveniently, there's no barbed wire in this section, and there <laughs> is a towel over top of it too. Make it easier for me. Thank you. Okay. What is it that I need to find in here? Oh, crowbar. Gotcha. I mean, do I really need to inspect it? It's a fucking crowbar. Some, some items can be kept and used later. Cool. Which door was that? Is 
one of these doors? Where was it? Oh, right here. No? What the fuck? No, oh, guillotine. It's over here, right? Excuse me. Pile of metal. Okay, wait. What fucking door do I have to go into? the window oh no the great fuck what am I talking about Jesus Christ figure it out stand back How did the dog lift that by himself? I mean, he was eating humans, so. Like, this is some very Resident Evil shit right here. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling. And it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make like, sure. That's like the only sure piece of evidence it. you have that that kid could be here. And you're just giving it to some <laughs> drunken wow. security guard looking for his dog. I need your help. We don't have time. Let's be nice, supportive. Because I don't think this guy's bad, right? So I don't need to be a dick to him. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. Motivational speaking. This. I, I, yeah. I can do this. He's totally gonna die, though. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Put faith in Tom. Yeah, he's definitely going to die. What? Three hours. You sat there for three hours? Yeah, fuck that. I hate stairs. I'm guessing the ladder broken. There's no way back up now. Yep, there it is on the floor. It would have been funnier if like the dog was at the top and he was like closing the gate. <laughs> Alright, let's try to go first. Well, what is that? Hello. Pick up your hat. Damn it. It's dirty. It doesn't mean you shouldn't pick it up. Furnace access is that one. Okay, well, let's. I'm assuming that's the way we're going to have to go. I don't want to go there yet. Oh, I fucking hate sewers and shit like that in games. Is that ammo? Is that a box of ammo? It's a box of something. What the fuck? A wooden horse. I know what it is to believe through the four. I was reading that. I don't know who this is, but I'm fucking taking it. Yeah, 
uh, controls are very clunky. Yeah, not going downstairs yet. Damn. It's a maze down here. So that's blocked off. Make our way back to the furnace room. Maybe clear this floor first, then we'll go down to the the second level. Okay, excuse me. Is there a way in front of me too? There was. That also leads downstairs, so let's not do that yet. It's behind door number two. Nothing came over. Okay, so downstairs is where we go. Wait, 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 wait. I said look. Should probably look first. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the... What? The axe is missing. Oh, I'm going to get fucking attacked by somebody with an axe, aren't I? The Huntress? She going to pop up? Is that what's going on? There's an axe that's missing. The Huntress? What the fuck is that? Oh. The shadows may look like there's smoke like coming out of the walls. Freaked me out a little bit. Wait, this is where I came from, right? Oh fuck, I don't know. This has got to be it. Can't like point and click the mouse to make it brighter. Oh, pry bar for that. Should we do the pry bar or go downstairs first? Mm. Oh no, just the look. I thought maybe because it lit up human rib cage. Yummy, yummy. Ah, this place turns my stomach. Got some fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibe going on here. So that's, uh, Billy. Things just get weirder and weirder down oh, That's here. cute. Alright, so, like, that was it. There's nowhere for me to go over here now. So I gotta crawl under. Yeah, I do. Goddamn small spaces. <clears throat> More small spaces. Uh, go up or go through that little crack in the wall. Ha! That's hilarious. It has skill checks like Dead by Daylight. It did. It made the exact same noise and everything. I think we should have gone up. I think it might have fucked up. It's like something will happen and a quick time event will come up and you have to hit space at the right time. And there's like the little block too, so if you get like a perfect skill check or a regular one. Man, this dog went on a pretty good travel here. Like, holy shit. Climbing up and down ladders and shit, opening gates too heavy for humans to lift. What the fuck is that? This is hellish. Why is that a baby? Is there a fucking baby over here? Crap. There's a baby in this giant fire.
ramp or ladder? I'm gonna say ladder. No. Give me a ramp. I do not like the response time on that. I think maybe I got I can switch that button. Do you not see that person standing there with a giant metal mask on his face? on the space bar and that. Feel good. <laughs> There's an artery there, you're dead. Fate changed, you freed yourself from the pipe, okay? That looked like a bug. It puts the lotion on the skin. Get up. Wiggle your big toe. Okay, here we go. shot dude with the arm that got impaled too so you shot Frank Stone and saved the child so that was Frank Stone okay. what the fuck what oh that's where a spike went through with his jaw that's Take fucking time, cool motherfucker. Okay. The, uh, one of the pale, the spikes impaled him to the back of his head and hit his jawbone and it ripped his jaw off. See, right there. That's his jaw. I want whatever drug she's on. Look at this picture. Mom. 
Ma'am. Okay. Nothing over here is lit. I just gotta leave. Oh, it's not gonna be one of these, is it? None of this is right. Oh, it is one of those things. We're just gonna keep looping through the same room over and over again. Don't like that. What the? Is the room upside down? The room is downside up. Okay. Ooh, let's check this. Maybe the picture's different. Oh shit. I ain't good. Should have checked in that last room too, and I didn't. Huh. That's funny. You see what's on the ground? Look. Scratch marks. See? And if I walk, oh, they still pop up. Can I crouch? No. It's ex the, the exact same looking scratch marks from DVD. I mean, I don't mind that. You know, they're reusing some of their old things. This is their first. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. I like it. There's their first campaign game they've ever made, right? So. Seven days. The fuck. Mom? What's wrong? Oh, that's not your mom. Come crawl through the fucking TV in a second, though. Double fuck. It's the entity. And now she's on a plane. Oh shit. I wonder if they're gonna throw in the licensed characters like Freddy oh and God. Ghostface and Michael and stuff like that. I mean, like, it did show the TV from Onryo. And it was very ominously looking like the TV from Onryo, and that's a licensed character. No, it just showed the TV with the static. And so I'm saying, maybe it's not exactly them showing it, but just showing you little hints of. of the killers. She visits my grave while the night winds wave. Madison, 2056 Country Road. Stay on oh, I'm gonna have to do a fucking. Road. I mean, the left, left side is the right side. The presence is required for proposal audience with Augustine, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Is that a hitchhiker? 
I thought she wasn't gonna look. Stop or drive? Uh, let's fucking roll the dice. You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. He chose to pick up the hitchhiker. I mean, like, he got him, right? You see, hitchhiker. Gotta give him a lift. <clears throat> so we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close. And I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or... I did not. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Or if those are hints at other well, parts of, of the games. I always heard it was really nice. Or she just lived off listed out different places hole, she lived like a really nice kind of shithole i mean i wouldn't know anyway because i've never been i'm a big apple girl born and raised barely even made it north of 14th street before going off to college here in england uh, no berlin actually oh i'm maddie by the way linda it's nice to meet you maddie yeah mm -hmm. you too even if I was worried, you might try to call. That was weird. The hitchhiker introduced herself uh, as Linda, which sorry. means the way they worded that, that's probably not her name. Uh, that's not enough time. Huh? No, I mean. I need more time to think. No, no, it's just you were so chatty a minute ago. Oh. Yeah. Linda is grateful you pulled over. Okay. If that even is Linda's hey, name. Take a look. Oh, we've that wasn't the good. End of the rainbow. All the lights turned off. In the House of Darkness, Grant Garrant Manor, 2024. I'm assuming this is Chapter 2 with the two on the top. What was his name again? Tim. <laughs> Where's your popsicle bag? Should you have a popsicle bag by now? Surprised you're not in bed this already. I gotta get my ass up early too. too. Thank you very much. On the nose. I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So um, do we just knock or? I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. All the power got turned well, off, but the doorbell when still I was worked. Told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? I don't think so. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. 
I'm gonna do. Audio language. I gotta put subtitles on. Let's get people can hear it. Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? Huh? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. <laughs> so are you, Maddie. Because you're a grown up. <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently. Doing walking into a ghostly manor with no lights. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello. Let's take a look around. Um. Hello. Look around and find Augustine Lieber. Way over here. Uh, why'd you do a weird little backspin? I don't know. There's one of those horse things. I can't do anything. Um, I wonder if that's the same piece that the other guy had. Oh, it looks like Augustine Lieber. She's got a very Augustine Lieber feel to her. Oh, shit. Chess. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Bruno Stanford, the third Esquire, business connoisseur. Behind all good ideas is a plan. Behind all great ones is a stand. Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. Looking forward to doing business with you. If you meet what you promise, I'm sure this evening will be worth both our whiles. See you on the 13th, and please call me Stan. P.S. Got a good number for one of those British black cabs. My usual guy's indisposed, so to speak. I think we might not be the only ones here. Girl, what's up, dude? Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Huh? Yuck. Go to bed. Do you play? Um... A little. What? Play Black Fridge? Black Parade, oh. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, it wouldn't allow me to do anything with that piano. I wonder if once I get down here, it's going to open one of these doors up. Terminator, it's up. kind of freaking me out. Yeah, it would be freaky. It's what the weird, fuck? right? Oh, wait, there's a straight ahead Arriving over here. at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah, it's a little odd. Oh, God. This is when some guy with... <sighs> so, not this way, then. This seems a bit more lively. How does that look lively? It's the same exact door handle. If it was like cracked open a little bit, it would be like, ah, okay. The light's coming through. A little lively. That's just another clo- oh, what the fuck? Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? 
My name is Stan. Can you? Be? I don't like this guy. Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Maddie. Short beautiful for name. Madeline. Madison. M Madison. Madison. I, I was uh, gonna say the same thing. Middle name Lexington. <laughs> what? Big town. The Big Apple. The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. You just met her. You're already putting the moves on it. Been waiting here a while. Stan, as in short for Stanford. This place is Creep Town, right? Uh, let's do. No, I don't want to do interest. I don't like this fucking guy. Just be cash. Be cash. Um, have you been waiting here a while? Not more than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. Bro, you fucking the pump the brakes, dude. So I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book on all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. And they're all American. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III. I sure back and call, only to call me Stan. She said her name was Linda, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Truly an honor. <laughs> her name is Linda. Truly. <laughs> I thought she would have been lying to us uh, and throw so us off. What's going on right now? Uh, well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. A lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Blood Benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. That's the title? Um, no. Sorry. Wait. Didn't you two come here together? Oh. No, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I had thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. Hmm. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name Still is Adam. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host, wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our right, host so we can something out for us. Look around while waiting for Augustine Lieber. Oh, I won't bore you with all the details. The but epic it involves of money Gilgamesh. And fast cars and trading, but nothing illegal. Obviously. Uh oh, obviously. Hey, buddy. Love you. <laughs> a bit of light. Oh, uh, it's green for me. Tablet five, the slain of Hombaba. Yeah, I'll try. My friend Hombaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him. Before the preeminent god Enil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us. Enil, as in Nippur. Shamash is in. Uh, it's fucking too much reading for me. Nope. That's some fucking weird shit. That's all I need to know. A book attempting to illustrate to Norman how acts of violence could be something. Let me clear the room first. Make sure there's nothing else other than that book. Uh, uh, uh. See, 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 see. What's this? What's this? Grab. Pull. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Weird. Interesting choice. Murder, Murder Mill. Mill. Is that one of hers? Is her name on the new seat? Linda? Yep, Linda Castle. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. 
Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever yeah. worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were or doing. Or this person's like a fan of hers or something. And they're reliving. Day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Frank Castle? Well, things no, don't the, get blown uh, out of proportion. I heard it on the screen a few times. And each time the audience... Dead by Daylight. Oh, I'm sorry. Rage. No, no, come on. We didn't have enough pop popsicle bags. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Murder Mill. Hm. That is, oh, that's from the very beginning thing that we did. Connection. There we go, power's uh, back. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging up the axe. <laughs> there she is. Ah, oh, good. There's I a door I didn't get to open. I'm a little bit upset. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. Yeah, and twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh. My mistake, Maddie, it is. This guy's, oh. guy, I mean, the guy's, he's oh, fishing for Madison. Never be he's shy trying. about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Want a bed? Ah, you called it. I'll have whatever Stan's having. No, it's okay. Uh, if I take a drink, I'm going to get poisoned. If I don't take a drink, she's going to be mad at me. Reluctant. I don't want to do it. No drinking. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. Yeah, it can confirm. and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. You refused Augustine's offer of a drink. Fuck, I hate the games. Cause now it's gonna be like, oh, you're gonna die later on because you didn't take I know the drink. It's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Creepy. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. Earliest convenient of a certain noted Artur allegedly should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. What'd you put in there? What was that? I, I I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if, if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. She was very eager to take that. I'm a little bit concerned at that. 
What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. I have no idea what's going on. No, I'm not gonna lie. Sounds like fucking rude. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel. So that's the entity. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. Didn't die His that night? was seared into oh. the very foundations of the mill. So he died. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. And these film pieces do that? How does that happen? I don't understand. Is he fine? Is he okay? You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? Specter, welcome to Baby Brigade. Thank you for the follow. What's up? <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. I think it's obvious to say that... Uh, fuck shit. One of the main characters you play as will be that baby from the beginning. <laughs> or one of the characters is going to pop its face back up. It's the only thing that makes no, sense. No, no. Is it intended to be cheesy? Take her, I'd rather die. Um, we're gonna kill ourselves or kill her sister? What's going on here? Protect the sister, rather die. You fail to see what truly makes us human. human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. Fucking right, walks up and kneecaps aliens. him a couple Come times. Like, okay, okay. I can shoot her. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? Through the weekend, you had a smoked burger with beer cheese. Oh, I found it. Yeah, yeah. How was that? That was amazing. Really? Yeah, buddy. It wasn't like. Hey, wake guys up bright and early tomorrow. Because I felt like maybe earlier. You got to okay, get more time, time to get stuff ready. That's where the yeah. money is. Brad. Chris is How happy you with your acting. Oh, fuck. No, we should be happy uh, with that acting. That was horrible. Let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off. So somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, jeez, Louise. <laughs> so, are, are we good or what? 
Is this like the 80s, yeah. I'm thinking? I mean, it looked great. How did the blood get Maybe look? 70s or 80s? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Yeah, I was going to say, I was trying to think of again of what she said. Wide close-up doesn't make any fucking sense. Acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Nope. Not when you're yelling and screaming like that. Chris, I trust Linda's judgment. That's defensive. Compliant. Linda, you've got to respect the director. So I'm literally picking one or the other. The director's being a bitch. The other girl seems like she's being a bitch to the director. Just kind of going her own way. I don't know. Fuck. What should I do? My mother said to take the very best decision is to either defensive or compliant. Fuck. Yeah, I go with the director. Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's Linda film. Linda is annoyed you side with Chris. Ah! Don't worry about it. Heartbreaking. Just, just go again, okay? If you did it your way, Chris is happy you sided with her. Oh, well, that is Linda. The other girl is Linda. You off. We'll get it on this one. You're going to bed too? Well, if we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Love okay. you. Okay, sound speeds? Um, yeah, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Why? <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think what? you're doing in here? Oh, for a second. Hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Hold on a second.
Okay. To be fair, I didn't want to bust this out until later. The wife told me I had to put it on now. And also, that's not why it took me a little bit to come back. My wife is having issues. Cause it, it says I, I'm not popping up online for her when I am, and which is weird. But, just so you know, I've been sitting in this onesie in this chair the whole time. I'm just only now popping it out. All right. Resume. How are you? How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? Same We're guy. just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss Castle? Dixie, Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Unicorn Wendy. I found my, my Pikachu beard to chew Mr. might make an appearance soon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here. You guys remember when I did beard at you all the time? Ever. Oh, that shit was hot and sweaty. Mm. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're going to have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just going to have to scrap the whole thing. All right, then arrest us. What? Arrest us for trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you got to start taking me seriously, because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing any more filming today. Not with that. What the hell crawled up his ass? No, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not going to do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. You don't have a camera. Your camera's broken. What are you going to film with? Still calling eighties, I think, right? Maybe seventies? I don't know. No. It's gotta be eighties. Early eighties. All wrapped out, sir. Now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yeah, it's got a big eighties feel to it. Because when he was the young cop and he got stabbed in there, it's a 1960 something. I don't think it. It's also yeah. The music's what's hitting it for me. It's very 80 sounding music. Curiosity on Main Street, Cedar Hills, 1980. Okay. Called it. Look at that van. Holy shit. You see somebody driving that van around, you're calling the fucking cops. Please. 
complete and utter disaster. That's a cool garage. Don't be so dramatic. I wish I had a big garage like that where I could do like, you know, a couch and a TV and stuff like that. That'd be awesome. Every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline. Gothic. I like it. Oh. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. I put a lot of emphasis on this camera. I wonder what's going to happen to it. That, that's got to be one of the hidden films, right? Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up. What now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Uh, I called it. One of these people are going to be that now, baby. Be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. Starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Well, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you <gasps> held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> like juggling your titties around. That's where you're going to get like... Killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually... She... Very quick at that. ...in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Probing. Who were the victims? Puzzle. What do you think he was up to? Let's go with probing. Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found... Parts. Excited. Do you know what this means? Frustrated. Why withhold all this until now? Um, I'm going to go with that. Do you know what this means? That way you need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh... People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Mm, okay, sure. I don't we think might so. get some butts in seats, but, like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just got to make sure these last couple of scenes are going to blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see... Oh, that little first. tiny so, fucking handheld thing yeah, it was like what thing made is, films I back in the day. I spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me too? What the fuck? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. I feel like these two are gonna, they're brother and sister, I'm assuming. I think they have a good connection. I drop everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. Like they're brother and sister that fight with each other, but they're actually super close. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. I'm 17. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, 
And you've been doing an incredible job. I mean, I, I don't know what... Is she going to be that other girl's mom, maybe? Uh -oh. What? What? Dark Linda, hair. Where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Why is it putting an emphasis on 10 or 20 bucks? It's going to decide something. I don't want to. Casual, nervous. I don't know if that means I'm asking for too much or if it is 20 bucks. Like this won't fix it all the way, but this one will. But that's asking for too much. Let's go cash. Let's go cash. I want to be cool with my sis. Just like 10 bucks. So let's say hypothetically. 10 bucks to fix a camera. Up. It's like three hundred dollars oh, just to get a fucking screen fixed on an iPhone now. Sure, of course. Associate producer Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit fake credit. Linda. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer. How about I don't tell that? No, I don't want to do that. You can borrow my van. All right. Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. That was a bad idea. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. Vans are no, not cool. I've been driving one for like 10 fucking years. I hate it. Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Fucking ten bucks, too. Big Red, welcome to the Beer Brigade. Thank you for the follow. What's going on? Bonnie gave you the money to fix the camera. Cool. So I think that was the uh, the end goal. No matter what, was just get her to give us the money. You all right there? You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. What? You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous? Do you? Mint flavored oh, real oh, blood. Anime. Anyone could go. At any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm, I'm looking at everything to find any DVD to little hey, hints and innuendos. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Ah. The, the saloon. Repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Mm. Curiosity. That's what oh, the yeah. episode's called, right? I certainly am. You hear about the curious. movie Regarding Constipation? I guess yeah. it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> yes. I, <guess. laughs> I like that one. Lead the way. That's good. That's very good. Voltage would be happy and proud of that one. Highlight that was 20 bucks for a lens back then because now it's 30000 to fix it. That's what I'm saying, right? This shit's fucked up. Man, I didn't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's in here. Wait for the death slinger to come out and shoot people. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. Yeah, they're, they're all not better than what you got. Actually, no, maybe not. I'm not Gotta look inside. Uh, too bad. So much for that. 
We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? No. Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. I don't Come trust on. her. I don't trust this one. What is it you're looking for? That was fucking creepy. Now, let me see. I think I have something. Kill the hag witch for <laughs> That's the I hag fucking killer. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. Take my pants off, walk and around. Be sure to have door. a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. That's ominously foreshadowing that you're going to find something. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... Oh, look at the mask. Maybe the Bunny mommy. Oh, cute. Like listen, that? listen. How is this place become such a mess? La, na, na, na. Na 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 na. That's pretty cool. FNAF 10 confirmed. That's cool. Kids are gonna like that. Oh, here we go. I don't want to read this much. Well, Dear, I've this place before. Had some lousy luck. Dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Ned Knacks. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed, and you should receive the payment at month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there's any lesson uh, to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully, moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance of the bereavement. After all, time is a great healer, and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectfully, R. Straker. Okay. The store recently passed into ownership of new hands. Okay, so that was a tidbit of information we needed to get. That's good. We'll go over here. Find anything, bro? No. Let's Casey. say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? No, it, it's not going on now. It only went on that one second. Like as soon as I picked it up. Sorry, I should have clarified that. That's my V. I'm hearing something. Okay, it's in the game. What is this? Smiley face. He didn't. Uh, I wonder if he'll hear. Let's see if he'll do it again if I pick it up. I'll be quiet. Because so I can pick it up again. Okay, ready? It's not doing it. It definitely did it though when I first picked it up, which is really cool. That horse piece again. I can't pick up or do anything with it. Yeah, it sucks. It was pretty neat. Something's red over here. Let's look at the red. Oh, wait, we already did that. Okay, well, okay, what's down here? Yeah, we're turning this shit on. Who would want to watch this creep fest? How long are we going to watch this for before we turn away? We'll give it like 30 seconds. I don't know. I feel like if we watch it long, something's going to happen. Uh, look up. Okay, if you're gonna rewatch the stream, I've been streaming for an hour and forty-four minutes. So hit up around one thirty-five, maybe one forty. 
And that, that way you'll be able to pick up from there. Can't turn it off, no. Where, where are you, why are we turning like that? Okay, we don't turn like that. Why the fuck even does it get like that? Oh, are these one of the relics? Trapper? Dude, imagine cuddling up to that at night. I'd fucking cuddle up to that. Are you kidding me? That'd be adorable. Man, if they made... So I, I obviously collect a shit ton of statues. These are all my My Hero statues. Right? I'm just going to show this guy off again because I like showing them off to everybody whenever again. It's my Endeavor, one of my favorite characters. Uh, this is the biggest uh, Bandai press or Bandai uh, figure I got. If they made fucking Dead by Daylight ones, I'd buy every fucking one of them. Think of it: of all the killers you can get, of all the regular uh, survivors you get, and then all the different skins and shit. That'd be cool. I was a follower of Saw, like from the movie franchise. Saw. No, I think she she's an original character from. Uh, DVD. Ma'am? I think there's a door over here. Yes. Oh, 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 what was this? Crow, don't scare the crows. My favorite perk to use as a killer is uh, Spies in the Shadows. The crows scare. This thing, but yes, pig is, is saw. Pig is saw. I fucking hate going up against the pig. God damn, do I hate the pig. Okay, so. This is a good talk. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. I don't like the laggy. It's kind of weird. Whoa. But may I? I insist. So this is where those alternative rolls of film are going to be, right? One of some of the previous camera ones going to be from this camera, so, or the one, the one you saw in the it's thing, maybe. Oh, pretty yeah. old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Why is it so laggy like that? Mm -hmm. Like it's not an online game. This How should be fine. How much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? You got the pick, right? This is ten bucks. Ten bucks. There's like okay. a sound, like a ceiling yeah. fan going on in the background. That seems reasonable for something like this. And I, I have ceiling fans in my house, and I just feel you accept this, right? Yeah, why wouldn't I? I, I keep thinking it's my ceiling fan going off, but it's not. It's driving me fucking nuts. It was nuts. no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate. I kind of want to. I kind of want to save yeah. it. Turn it off and open it back up because I really don't like how it's laggy like that. I wonder if it just made it needs a, like it's hiccuped because it's so new. Wait, guys! Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to hold this? Be right back. Wait, oh, Chris, she is not going to be back. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter. When the fuck was the last time a quarter ever got you in? Okay, I'm going to do this. Give me a second. I'm going to save this. Can I do that? Hold on. Hold on. Buy milk. Okay. Quick on the main menu. Yes. Hold on. Hold on.
don't like that hiccup it's doing. It's running my PC hard, too. My PC's been trucking this whole time. I don't like that. Let's see if there's any... Uh... No. Settings. Controls, island, graphic costume, accessibility. We just looked at that, right? Yeah, nothing there. Display. Full screen, one monitor, V-Sync. We don't want that on. Film grain, on. Yeah, motion blur, on. No, I don't care about that. Alright, alright. Everything's okay. Huh? okay die alone. Continue. Okay, good. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Yeah, it is a DVD. That was what we found out. I didn't think it was either. But yeah, it's behavior that made it. My wife was looking up. The people who made... Uh, like Heavy Rain and the the Dark Pictures anthology. Like the Man in Medan, the Little Hope and shit like that. They teamed up and they made this game. First movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Okay, I'm not reading all that. I'm assuming, yeah, since I acknowledged it, there's a long lineage of lost movies resulting in dark myths. Oh, it's a different piece. Waterlogged shoe. Four names, four trials. She tells me not to rush. It says 3 out of 12. I wonder if I miss him earlier. I just haven't ran into it yet. I mean, I would have had to have missed him. Okay, before I'm assuming it's where the milk is, where I get the milk. Oh, yeah, I can't play. Hell yeah. Thank God, there's no time limit. Ah, oh, so close. I gotta wait. On a swing back, like that. Oh. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, that was good. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. I came over here. This middle fucking thing's taking a lot of beating. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to hit back. No. Get back to it. There we go. Oh. Oh, come on. One more, one more, and I get next level. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay. I would almost prefer it without these little things protecting me. They seem to be getting in my way more than helping. I didn't see that coming. Didn't even make the bomb on the list. That sucks. All right, let's move on. Can't go back there. I could so find a place for these in Myrtle Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. See, not asking for 20 bucks is going to fuck me, right? Did I ask for 20 bucks? No, I didn't. Something bad's going to happen because I didn't ask for the 20 bucks. Okay, there's nothing anywhere else. I'm not going to ring the door with that bell yet. I want to get the milk. So, it's a different kid. Uh, oh. hey, Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? That's the I cop's son. Man. He said his name was Robert. And they know each other. Man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so... Take my quarter and I take your milk. Oh, right. Yeah. Ring me up. All right. That'll be 25 cents. Okay. 25 cents for fucking milk. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Sure $6 for like three bags now. In the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. I didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra It hand. seems like she is, right? She's hitting on all of them. Uh, you never know, right? You gotta, sometimes but... you gotta put a couple of lines in the water before you get a fish to bite. Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Mm. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're going to sneak back in to shoot the rest. No, you're not. <sighs> Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a... Um, a. We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. How different things were, right? Just gotta get your bag. 
lock the door. Good to go. Now you got to arm like 15 alarms, close a gate, lock up the safe. Do so many different things at a retail store. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. I mean, like, if she's from the city, how has she not heard about it? But everybody else has, right? That's poor writing. Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's word. That's Dead by Daylight Entity sound. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. Mm. Giving them the camera, I had told I didn't trust her, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? I'm assuming everybody except Linda dies just because Linda we've still seen in current time the other people we haven't and now Linda's this big movie maker and the other girl seems like she was supposed to be the big director or whatever <laughs> what the fuck it's too probing Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I, I don't even remember falling asleep. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. She, that girl looks familiar. Girl plays Linda. She, she looks familiar. Very urgently in her private reliquary. These games are really good at now that we're all awake again, taking the likeliness of the voice actors. Thousand foot long elephant in the room. Thousand. Oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Ha, that was nice. We're all playing it close to the best before. Huh. It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with Come our on. own little slice of I got a picture of Linda, the, the voice actor for Linda's face. She looks familiar, too. So... All this is film strips her. I hope you guys can see her. That's a girl who plays movie. Linda. That one. Not fakes. Yeah. I can see it. Pretty good resemblance. And all that That'd make her look older too, right? Cursed. So that's a big difference. Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is it. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's going to have to pay up. Who's this guy, Stan? I don't see him on here. Why do you think she wants it so bad? Oh, I there mean, he is. He's a nobody. It's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. You're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. 
That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponents. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> she did tell us to look around, right? So let's go. What are you waiting for? This is very Resident Evil, evil this feeling, is a real so. Bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? New Augustine. Imagine having a house like that. You have a, a library to yourself. Sounds it's a castle. Like it's huge. As well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Tell me about Augustine. How do you know about the murder mill? Mm. He probably doesn't know a lot about her, but he'll know a lot about the murder mill. So I'll probably get the most information from him there. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about murder mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, it, in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster. See, field to fall. What's up? Thank you. Welcome to Beer Brigade. It isn't really cursed. The fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. <laughs> well, that's why I had to find out for myself. Took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. I'd be terrified to sleep in this place. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Is that from Dead by Daylight? Somehow? Mm, I don't know. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are. Italian. Obviously, she's not talking to you. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy, so I got these pants from his guy's guy. Okay, so nothing else on the main floor. I go upstairs. The guy I know who also got me the blade. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um. After my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Bose, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... Called it. How did you know that? Called it, called it, called it. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I yeah, he's good. Bunny had passed. He's yeah, going to die in the filming of us making that sudden. movie. Wow. Daddy, that's quite sad. Very touching. Hmm. Do I comfort her? 
Yeah, I feel like if I if I come for her and I don't probe Stan with where he got his, I might lose the momentum of finding the information. But also if I probe Stan right away and I don't come for her after she's upset, I could lose her trust. These fucking games, I swear to God. Uh, I want to know where Stan got his. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, you know... See, I knew it. Fuck. Question. Second I did it. And an expensive one, too. Mm. But you know what? Since I am such a big fan of your work, I'll give you a little taste. Free of charge. I can't tell you who I got it from or why they had it. I will tell you that I acquired it from them completely by the book in a very honorable game of chance. You won it? Fair and square. Who the fuck would be gambling with it? They have no right. Ah. <laughs> well, it seems like you're more attached to this little project than what you've been letting on. Mm. You don't just gamble away something like that. Okay, now I'm going to go upstairs. I'm sorry, mind your way. Statue. Billy. Hmm, missing a piece though. Uh that's his little hammer. So if I could probably I'm assuming if I find it. Oh it's that little metal piece thing I find. Oh, I must have missed it going forward. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. No, she's immortal, I'm assuming. Why am I why am I turning? Pick up the fucking book. That's Frank Stone. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. I'm not reading this. That's too much. I'm a th that's what I'm thinking, so, right? It's the entity, like the birth of the entity or where it resides, I guess. They're suspicious that... Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, I think it's the only place I can go. Whoa. Ooh. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. So, I'm assuming I have to get another piece here, and I have to put in the right combination of symbols, and probably um, some kind of medallion, talk to Maddie. Okay, Maddie, where'd you go? Hello? Maddie mad at me because I made her feel alienated. Oh, she's over there. There's more up to go. Okay, my bad. Yeah? Now, what would you... Just throw over sure the edge. you would get a kick out of this place? <laughs> And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? My mm -hmm. mom. Uh, no, I I wasn't. I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up it never gets easier when you lose someone but it does become less suffocating i hope so because sometimes i just feel like i'm going crazy like she really is out there guiding me trying to tell me something yeah probably stay the fuck away that's from this house what are you doing it felt like that's what she wanted me to do I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? 
There's something I never told anyone else. Ooh. It's a good idea to dwell on the No, let's go nostalgic. Come on. I want to hear this. Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. We made out once. It was a long time ago. Oh, totally. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Three years ago, that night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction and right in the middle of it all was Bonnie I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves the only thing that mattered was that moment nothing else that was your mom I really like the artistic look of it, how you only saw the garage and then the mom. Everything else was blacked out. You didn't see it. it was, that, that was really cool because it's focused on that one memory. Like she said, oh, there's always that one thing that sticks what? out. What? A bush. Oh, I no. I see anything. Ghost face pops his head around the corner. Oh, Hello. There. Right there. Oh, my God. There's someone out there. This might be after the film strips the plot gets any thicker if this plot gets any thicker ooh. i'm gonna go with that one great if this plot gets any thicker it's gonna need a new pair of jeans huh. um do you guys think we should be worried i mean what if they're dangerous maybe we should find augustine and let her know Close the she fucking window is what you should do. Good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. I mean, that does make perfect sense. I'm not going to lie. I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. So this guy outside is trying to break and is just going to patiently wait for me to spend three hours missing all the things I need to get. Who's that? Get some wacky eyebrows. You see his eyebrows? The Phantom of Cedar St Steel, Cedar Hills, 1980. What's taking them so long? I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. Hmm. They find it controlling. What? Why did you never heard of me, right? Like Fuck, a pair of scissors. If they're that curly out, you can useful. snip those bitches off. I'm not trying to control Chris. We've just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Hey, right out time. Time to get cooking. Oh. Oh. Nothing, just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. Do you not know no. that? Tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and 
Yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I aim to please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. He reminds me of Kevin Nash from the first Punisher movie. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Kevin Nash was like an assassin in that movie. He was like yeah. this big guy. Yeah, He's a big, like, muscly guy. He had a white and red striped shirt like that. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. I mean, you can. Stone's victims were real people. Subdued guess not. Mm, let's go that way. Why not? Guess not. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes. Right, so slight change of plans. Mm -mm. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to Stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it, especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. Look around the garage and then talk to Linda. Okay, let's see if there's anything I need around here. No, oh, hello. Oracle of the Omniverse. Do you feel trapped? Are you living your life or merely surviving it? Here, Does this universe satisfy you so or you... Hey, stone. I'm reading, Robert. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frankstone. The mill is a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Anyways, by harnessing the deep knowledge within this book, gleaned by Guru Burnham for his studies of those tribes closest to enlightenment. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank. I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or. Okay, you're Something. taking way too long. That's your expert opinion? I'm getting out of here. It's just a hunch. You maybe not want to read this book anymore. Yeah, I'm just going to get the information I, I need from it. These today too. An omniverse? From the yeah. time of the murders. And the little... Oh, what <laughs> thinking? Chris and Robert kindly shut the fuck up while I'm trying to read. Uh, can I turn this bitch on? No, I'm just looking at the fact that there's a radio here. Cool. Toolbox. Do I get to uh, open something up faster? Okay, so those are the two of the relics I found. Okay, good. Tom Holt interview. Yeah, <laughs> that sound. It's a dead by daylight sound. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. I'm not reading all that. Well, this sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. 
Frank Stone committed several murders prior to those carried out in the steel mill. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I didn't notice this. Is it, Okay, so it's not like a level, just collections. Okay, so it's my shit that I've unlocked. Two of ten. We got two of ten again on this one. Stuff. So I'm pretty sure I've definitely missed some shit, which, yeah, what is what it is. Okay, I gotta talk to her, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Let me look at this shit. I'm sure there's something up here I can look at, right? Yeah. No more edits. There's a script. Is good light inside for film shoot? Oh, oh, oh. Jamie, hospital it's call. Mom will be home out. Sunday, Bonnie. I can't wait. I don't think you're going to see her, dude. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. This. Should I be worried about Robert? Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. I don't think we should be worried about Robert. Cop son. Robert doesn't seem untrustworthy. I would definitely be a little bit more concerned with why she's so infatuated with Frank Stone. That's a little weird. i go with her. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. A little weird. Maybe it's because she's it's a little weird. Pills, but, you know, those victims could have been any of us. Or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? We'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about she it. She definitely didn't tell Chris about that at all. It's pretty rad. I shouldn't have wasted all this time. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. Whatever. I like it. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes. Huh? What is? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go. Very stranger things feel to it as well. I like that. Rhea Ripley enters the room. The last time she sees her brother. Now, what were you little ding dongs working on? Or is she gonna go in there and Hello. saving them? Interesting. You little ding dongs. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, it takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. That's Dead by Daylight music. Dun, 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 dun. We do. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's a little corny, but I like it. Careful. First step's a doozy. All right. 
This way. Find the entrance to the storm room. Who am I playing as? Oh, I'm playing as Chris again. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frankstone actually killed people. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. Mm. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very so basically, what do I want to do? Do I want to try and sneak around the dad, or do I want to eventually fall in the water and try and quick time out of it? I really don't want to deal with the dad. Let's cross. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Okay, we made it. That's fine. I thought for sure there was going to be some kind of log that breaks and somebody falls in the water. He patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Had a cool title though. What was the title? The man who drew blood from a stone. Damn. That's actually a really I cool mean, title. Could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally. Yeah. That's somebody's like. That's somebody right there on the right, isn't it? It's gonna move. I feel like I missed something down here. I, I, I want to go around. Just be safe. No, maybe not. I just don't want to leave any stone unturned, you know? See? See what's this shit? Okay, it's nothing, but you didn't know it was nothing, right? That's all I'm saying. It's gonna be bad. Oh, now is not the time to get leggy on me. Oh god. Oh, you had to be very gentle with that touch. I like this. There's a lot of different elements of little quick time. It's not the same thing over and over again. The little different things here and there. I appreciate that. Okay, this has to fucking stop. I hope there's an update tomorrow. Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And grab it. a new one it is a new one tattooed middle finger she tells me i'm not i must not doubt what i 
dream of. Okay. Go back this way in case there's a room I could enter down here. No, I know if that was a room or something like that. What do we got over here? I need a flashlight. Oh man, that saved the day right now. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and <laughs> we're, we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I mean, it actually might happen. I'm not going to lie. I promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yeah. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some yeah. pens. <laughs> Looks like the flashlight from Dead by Daylight. Ponchos. First aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> Boy Scout rule, always be prepared. I have a feeling that's going to be the dad following them. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? Mm. There was one time. Okay, it just shows what I have. I'm missing number th four? One in four. Oh, it's another relic. Who would have left this Great. here? Look at that. Bing bong. Should I go down there? Can I climb down there? Let's do it. Oh shit. Oh fuck. How the fucking chair get in here? I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pulled a director card, he'd probably never talk to me again. Huh, you're a little key. What did that say? Casting shed. Okay. <laughs> I still love the fact that it makes the DVD sounds when you pick up an I item. Get back to Robert. Oh, right. I'm not sure about Linda's. Okay, so but that's if not. I pulled a director card, he'd probably never talk to you me. You already again. said that. We know. As I was going to say, when I was little, and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember, 
kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Or like my dad. You got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. This is the same place I went through, wasn't it? Chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that. What was that? Oh, there's his dad's hat. I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. This has been down here the whole time. Come on. Really? No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. <laughs> Nearly there. <sighs> Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not much. Well, what was that? What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your What are those? Is that the hag's daggers, maybe? I don't know. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like me. Shut up. Forsake it. <clears throat> um, so I was going to say, no way. That's really cool. I like movies. If you, if, if they're. That's kind of wild. So if their path takes in one direction and they're talking about something, usually in games, if you walk away from that, they'll just keep talking. Then you'll forget or not hear what they say. But they don't do that. They cut it off. And then when you get close to them, if they're a cute little animation like the, <clears throat> like I was going to say. or the, I, I like that. I appreciate that. Help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off. <laughs> oh, okay, it is. I'm like, I don't know if this was the where we almost came from. I mean, if he's going that way, I don't want to go that way, right? I want to check everything out. I've already missed a few of those little icon things. I don't want to miss any of them. The man met the legend. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. Mind your way. Wait, that's a look. That is the... Uh, is that the machete from the trapper? So I wonder if those are all over the walls and we're missing them. So that's now, I think there were the hag's blades, the trapper, the huntress's axe. Up there. There's one more. Last chance to turn back. Oh, here we go. I think the huntress's axe was over here, wasn't it? Thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. 
Come on, people. They're all we're dead. Like they're all gonna shots. die. One more scene and we're done. The entity. Oh no, that's uh what's his name? Frank Stone. And cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? Film's done. And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Way to go, everybody. <clears throat> Uh, he shot his shot, but he missed. Disapproving. A little premature with the face sucking. Uh, insisting. We still have one more scene. Uh, let's do that. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Uh, right. Yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I'm going to shoot it. I'll, I'll do it. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. They're both dead. The furnace room? Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Yo. You know what's gonna be? It's probably gonna be the dog. Coming? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna call that. I say it's right a dog. There. You think it's a dude? Because you saw that dude in the outside. But I think it's gonna be the dog, like Did some kind of something? weird zombie dog or something. No, that was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing. Right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. Or it could be that old janitor dude. Gotcha. Not cool, buddy. Oh, it's funny. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> I still think either the old dude's gonna show up or the dog. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean. Uh um, Bonnie. I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, uh... <clears throat> Linda? I don't care if she tags along. Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. Hmm. I'd say familiar, because she talked earlier to the daughter... And said that I knew your mom a while ago. Since relax, it's kind of like an eh, whatever, not a big deal. But like Bonnie's gonna do, that means that she's familiar, right? She knows how Bonnie is. So I'm gonna strengthen that bond. I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do, no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we? But it's Rhea Ripley. Around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. I mean, you're all going to die except Bonnie and Linda. So what are you yapping about? Just let her tag along. I was looking for any kind of clues, any kind of. Didn't we impress that? What the fuck happened there? Uh, I need to find those little trinkets. Oh, this is all the same place that the dad was at. That's not weird. Dad was at. I did get a key, remember? I got one of these uh, casting keys, it said. Pick up, pick up. Crowbar. <laughs> I like the sound every time. That's crowbar his dad used. Is 
See, this wasn't. Oh. Mm. No, okay. I kind of feel it wasn't going to be open. You never know. Ah, doors open. There's nothing to do up here. Wait, can I see in there? Turn around, turn around, turn around. Just try and see if I can see anything in this room. Doesn't look like it. Nothing important, at least. Is this place a map? I don't know. Is there a map? Uh, no, I don't think this is a place as a map that I can think of. I'm trying to think of any factories like this, but I can't think of any kind of big factories. There's like the, the cornfield. What is this? Oh, would you look at that? Ah, it's one of the trinkets. Very nice. It does look cool. It, it definitely looks like it would be a, a, a map, but I'm not. Uh, an Oni mask. Nice. I can't, if it is, I can't think of it. I really can't. It definitely feels very Dead by Daylight map, though, for sure. There's a junkyard. But it, no. Okay. So which way are we supposed to go? Is it this way? The harsh, harshest flame yields the hardest steel. Howard Kinsley Tester. Could be some kind of backstory in him. I'm assuming he's the founder of the, the company. I'm sorry, can what is going on here? Onis remain? Nice. I fucking hate going up against Onis. They're always tough. Oh, hello, Pipe. I remember you. A chunk of Robert's father is probably still inside you. You okay? No. Yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes... I don't know. It's different. Mm, oh, 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 I see it. have to use this to move it I'm assuming okay let's see if I can do that I gotta crank it I gotta get a crank talk to Chris I don't want to talk to Chris you're being mean doors are locked it's pretty straightforward pretty much wherever the team goes you go up sundown looking a little horny <laughs> just a little nub that's all it is we went over this yesterday remember can I squeeze through there oh I can squeeze There's the crank. Oh, thank you. I thought I threw it out. I, I said I was going to wear the onesie tonight. And then I was talking to my wife when she came home from the gym. And I'm like, I don't know where my fucking onesie is. I originally had picked up this one. Because I had this one. 
it was my sloth one. I don't know if you guys remember this one. It's got the big sloth hands. Like fucking salad fingers. And the big sloth head. So I was going to wear this guy tonight because I couldn't find this one. But apparently my wife had tucked a few of the other onesies away. So like I said, I ended up finding the fucking beer to chew one. That thing is beating the shit. But uh, I might be popping on the beer to chew ones every once in a while as well. Can I take the item now? No, I can't. Blight rat. That's pretty cool. Wait, can I talk to him? Here's what we're going to do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. There's something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <sighs> and cut! An apple onesie? Totally. Felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great. Thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're going to replace the sound in Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. That. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about Sky Bison from the Avatar. Right. Oh, uh, that's like okay. that big, like that's fucking, like, like woolly mammoth looking like thing that he flies, right? Is that it? I can't remember. Agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids, that was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. <laughs> I'm impressed. But, uh, Awkward pause. I gotta be honest. What? You really uh, okay, I, I watched the first couple... Doing? We watched the first couple episodes of the live action one. Uh, I really liked it, actually. I was getting into it. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? 
You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go get some air. That's where strength and casual is. Want to come outside? Yeah, bring Bonnie with you. Come on, Bonnie. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? Uh, yeah, the uh, the One Piece one was really good. We watched. Yeah, I watched sure. most of it. My kids watched all of it. Whatever. Um, and the other was really good too. So keep doing what you're doing, guys. I know they're eventually going to, and I'm gonna be very skeptical on it that they're gonna do a My Hero one in some way. And I'm just, I'm going to be super nervous because they're going to leave out some good people and it's going to piss me off. But they can't put everybody in. I get that. So, I, I just wanted to tell you how much Ugh. I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, uh, I think you, you love the opportunity of getting your hands in her pants also. more than anything. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. Yeah, that's what they want to do. Finish the movie. It's in the can. Bow, 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 we finished the suit, yeah, but we're still going to have to sell people on this thing. Oh, I know they're going to try the things first, for sure. I just, this place while we eventually there's going to be a My uh, Hero one, and I'm going to be really upset. If we just get, like, really upset. one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, the machine shop. Uh, hey, Chris. Use this to raise your camera. Holy. What can you see? Something freaky. I'm doing it. It's not working. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Okay, now I got to do it. What the hell is Whatever that? Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great. It was like half a movie. second of me filming something. Do you think that door will take us to the machine shop? Oh, I thought she was gonna feel it. The entity is calling her. Only one way to find out. Dun, 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 Let's go take a look. Ooh, wow. That's where Frank Stone died. Holy oh, I get tired. Holy shit. What a day. <clears throat> uh, the one with uh, David Arbor. I haven't seen it yet either. I wanted to. I've heard mixed, but there's another new one, isn't there? I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go through here yet. Honestly, like, you know, I gotta check our system out. Make sure there's nothing I fucking helped. missed. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Okay, so I think uh, I okay, have to go that way. That, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non traditional philosophies. Non traditional. Like Acupuncture with all the pins? No. No, I don't want to do that. I think that's where I gotta go. I don't want to do that yet. I'm gonna go back in that room. Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys. Well, you did. That's true, right? Straight shooter. That's it. 
Sure. Whatever you say, man. Okay, I want to go check this room out back here in case I don't miss anything. Oh, I got the key for that. Four. Again, I still want to go into this room over here. I feel like there's something in here. Or does it just lead me to that same room if I didn't have the key? Oh, nope. Relic. See, who do we Dan. got? Clown. This way. Nice. Why is it always clowns? <laughs> yeah, his eyes light up too like it does in the game. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna do something with this. Just like give me some time. Let me look around. I think I got to use it to climb across. Possibly. Anything over here first? No, no, maybe I know. Oh, multiple was this fucking again Resident Evil vibes like crazy, right? bridge for myself to walk across but first is there anything in here I can get no okay I got to do like a jump maybe okay, so now this is gonna have to get moved where do I get move this guy though so far, we know Bonnie survives this place, and it's possible Jaime dies here. I'm assuming so, because she said that girl said she never met her uncle, right? And that was him, so I'm assuming it's going to be him. Yeah, I got to put this there so I can climb up to there. Bonnie and Linda live. That's uh, for sure. Just because they haven't mentioned Chris or Robert doesn't mean... And we know for sure Jaime's dead. So those are the things that are certain so far. Linda lives, Bonnie lives, Jaime's dead. Oh, I fucking hate this bouncing shit. For some reason, I couldn't understand what that said. I'm like, fucking release. What are you talking about? There's another one. Very good. Excuse me. Can I access you? Thank you. Uh, oh, why didn't they give me the thing for it? Weird. So I think that's everything I can do in these rooms. That one door back here. Yep, is where I'm going. There's one that I could open. So I think I've maxed everything. That's weird. I'm, I'm going to be pissed if it doesn't give me... Like, it doesn't acknowledge that I found that. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Shut up. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. 
Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. I mean, they're separated right now, right? Yeah, Bonnie and, and Linda are the only two that are not with this it's group. The skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. We're going to have to find a way, aren't we? Got to be a way to get up there. Okay, so now we're high me again. Don't want to miss any items or tools. Is the door open? It does not. I'm assuming we got to go under the train. Should open the door, right? Well, there's no power, so we gotta turn the power back on, right? Maybe there's something useful in there. Well, for sure, there's keys. We can use those. There's the power relay. I'm assuming I gotta get into there. So I have to figure out how to get into here. I have to get on that catwalk somehow. What was that say? Climb? Oh no, it's this right here, right? Yeah, no, no. See what Robert has found. Oh, Robert found something. Oh, shut up. It's a fucking generator. Come on. Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Exact replica generator hey, from DVD. I, I love it. Something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides she works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't... Um... Wasn't what? This well, would be a really cool yeah, map. Like, a broken metal uh, factory? Point Fuck, was man, that'd be super cool. My girlfriend and best friend to oh! all do something together. There is a map that has a factory like, in the middle of it. Just us. With big steam vents and shit. I can't remember the name of it, though. So... It's right in the middle. I'm just in the way. There's a castle, and you can go upstairs on the outside. And there's, like, a control room at the top. I don't know if this is that, but it, it does resemble that now that I think about it. You're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend, bro. I want a few minutes alone with Chris. All right, look. The truth is, all night... I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Hmm. Couple new parts. Oh.
Find parts to repair the generator. I'm assuming they're going to be under the train. Oh, 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 what's that? Hello? This might work with the generator. Yes, it will. So I'll go under. Yeah, let's go under here and check this out. I, you never know. I just want to check it out because I didn't go down there yet. Yeah, the door's closed. Can I talk to her? Yeah, let's fucking talk to her. Find anything? You still gotta power up that door to get it open. How's that generator coming? Getting there. Do you really think it's gonna be worth all the effort? Uh, yeah. Why are you asking me that? See that big roller door over there? Yeah. It should lead us right back outside. <laughs> what? Right now? Yeah. Why not? I don't want to go anywhere until I've gotten a better look inside that thing. Mm, that better look's gonna fucking kill really you. We don't know how we're gonna get up into it. See that box car? Yeah. If we could get into that, then up onto its roof, there's like a. There was a lot of maps back in the OG yeah. days that yeah. aren't around yeah. now, so right it definitely might have been. Wagon. And I don't remember a lot of them because that was like fucking six, seven, eight years I ago, tried maybe. To get into the box car. It's locked. Maybe if we can get the generator going, we'll find something. How's the generator coming? Some parts. Let's gotta find one more part for the gen. There it is. Could help with the generator. You damn right it's gonna help the generator. It's like a fucking alternator. I'm a little concerned with how far out of the way the generator is. I'm assuming something's gonna go out and attack me. <laughs> oh, it's DVD. Okay, see, I don't like the response time on that. Can I change that? Is there a keybinds? Controls? Keybinds, there we go. Okay, so instead of space bar... Where is it? Movement, aiming, interactions. Here we go. Wait a minute. Where'd it go? Interactions, grab, interact, up, inspect, up, down, turn page, gameplay, obstacle. Would that be it? Hmm. Hold on. Can I click it? Like, there we go. Okay, we did it. Wait, what that say? The following actions do not have a binding. Grab, lift, interact. Combat trigger. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Did I f royally fuck that up? I'm just going to do that to be safe. Go back. Restore to default. Go back into it. Get back down to it again. Right here. Skill check. All right, okay, We're, we should be good now. We should be good now. Still a little delay, but more manageable.
It's really hard to time that perfect one. Oh, I almost locked that one up. Nice job. Thanks. Do you think your dad's not going to notice everything lighting up if he's patrolling this whole area all the time? Or Robert's dad? Like, come on. Obviously, he's going to find this shit out. getting somewhere I can thank you so much I appreciate it. it's actually really cool I like it I'm gonna throw it up soon that's really awesome I, I appreciate that the door's locked maybe there's another way in there of course there's another way in as in let's just smash the fucking door Is that it? There it goes. Yeah, it was really cool, actually. I like it. I appreciate it. It's definitely something that would look good on the on the the stream. On my background, I hate what I got. <laughs> literally, it's the best I could do. I just made it on my own one day, and that was literally a long time ago. No flashlight now? Like, come on. I can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Okay. What have we here? Yeah, look at the art section. It's in the art section you posted the banner. Did a bunch of War Thunder ones too, which are really cool. I don't think I'll be able to get that one or that one again. If I missed them, I think I missed them. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I like it. I go throw it up. Those War Thunder ones are fucking pretty sick, too. I'm getting very big into that game. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Even though I'm doing super shit, I like the fact that it's a crawl. You know, it's a crawl, walk, run kind of deal. F stone. Oh, shit. These were his actual keys. Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh, man. Unlocks the boxcar. Sure does. What is he looking at? The generator sounds like the generator from the game too. Up. That's amazing. Still need to go up. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Climb. -a. Climb. -a. You know why? In serious deja vu. Oh, there's a glitch in the matrix. They changed something. As in they should have forgotten about the fucking remake fourth one. As if it never happened, because that was a goddamn embarrassment. Where am I supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to jump somewhere, but I don't know where. I think it's this way. It wasn't letting me, though. There it goes. I'll go first. You sure you want to do it? Let's be hesitant. You know, show a little bit of restraint. Are you really sure you want to do this? Yep.
Oh, no, no. I got it. You're lucky I'm more quick on the I pressed the button. Guy. Oh, that's bad for me. <laughs> There's a reason Jaime never made starter on our football team. Yeah, coach was a jerk. You keep telling yourself that, bud. But it said that I got it right in the middle thing, though, didn't it? Wow. Right through the wall. Convenient. That's a hand. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is... Is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. You mean to tell me in this all that time that the police were here, they didn't check, like, they knew who he was. Obviously, they've documented insane. this guy. They didn't check his office. They didn't check his keys. They didn't check this room that was here, like, this whole time. Shut up. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Millwright's Notebook, Cedar Still Corporation, Machine Shop and Repair, Cedar Hills, Oregon, Log MS815. Up in the back. It's going to have his, like, notes on the inside. Holy shit. Who are these other people? Parker D. No, want to get too close, feel every blow, hear their screams. Parker D. That looks like the machete. Are we getting the names of the killers of Dead by Daylight right now? Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on? I think we're getting an origin story of these fuckers. That, uh, the, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the machete, right? Hear them scream. Or it could be Billy, chainsaw, with his hammer, right? And then there's... Kessler E, this time make it last. Better control for the neck. Small cuts, keep clean, taste their fear. Who is this, though? Is that the pig, maybe? I don't know. Or it just could be him, maybe. A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut and fix. Pretty fucked up. Not gonna lie, it's pretty fucked up. So you can turn out the brightness? I think I can. Lighting. Hi, hi. Sweet ray tracing off reflection. I don't think there is actually. There's got to be a way I can change the brightness. Display. Brightness. Let's pop that bad boy up for you. There we go. Any changes? This must be how Stone got in and out. That's a head. What is it? That's a Ball. person's head. Damn. I think she was one of Stone's victims. There we found her. There we found her. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad. Yeah, now. go get your dad, dude, for sure. This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. We can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? Nope. But the movie? The movie's done. Robert's right. We should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. There's something on the floor that I missed. I want to make sure I get it. Okay. 
Actually, no, there's quick times once in a while. Okay, yeah, good, 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 good. Get the hell out of here. I guess the cops never connected. Calhern's son and friend murdered. Say police. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Kurschik last night confirmed his threatening. Uh, he is treating the deaths of George Callern and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday night is a double murder. I'm not reading all that. Can't inspect it. Do I? Okay, we're good. Let's save something that's good. And where is this going to lead us to? We got to go. It did look like a bill hook pole arm, but I don't know what that what killer would have that. Maybe the knight? Oh, he's got a sword. Did you take the fucking hand with you? Maybe we should wait outside uh, until Robert comes back. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. No, you're paying the fucking dirtbag to me. I'm giving a dirtbag to you. Get one quick shot first. I'm just not cool with this. Okay, noted. Don't you care at all how I feel? Of course I care how you feel. Then please just forget about getting the shot and let's go outside and wait for Robert and his dad to get back. I really don't appreciate you forcing me to choose between you and the movie. I don't enjoy asking you to make that choice. But you haven't given me much of one either. Hi, mate. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. Right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Okay, sure, for appreciative or pessimistic. I'm not sure we can talk about this later. Mm. She's, like, they're both going to die, right? So if I say no, like appreciative, okay, sure, then we're both going to die with unsaid stuff and might ruin the story. Pessimistic, I might piss her off, but we're going to get off her chest. I'm going to do this one. I'm sure we can talk about this later. Uh, why not? <laughs> because maybe if we don't talk about it now, then there isn't going to be a later. So, what are you? Are you saying that it's over? Maybe it is. You decided to break. That shot. was breaking up with her. Oh but, shit! Yeah, of course. Yeah, that was bad. Not what I intended. The glowing is the night. Yeah, it definitely is. Huh? What? I don't know. Ah! Holy fuck. Yep, time to get the fuck out of here. Oh, that must have been his hand. That was him.
go. Confront. You got killed trying to save Chris in the portal. Uh, yeah, I fucking did. Yeah, I know that it's all glitchy. I think it's a game. I've restarted the game and tried it. I don't know what's going on. That was fucked up. Beyond the gate, Garant Manor, back to 2024. That shit was fucked up. I wonder what would happened. Like, if I had ran, see, something else would have happened, though, because, Nothing. like... We already know that Jamie or Jaime didn't live. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. <clears throat> That's what I said. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it. How do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Huh. <clears throat> yeah. I was waiting for it to cut his fucking oh, hand off. I was off. actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. That's a villain over. Yeah, right? For sure. Uh, guys, I'm done for the night. It's midnight. I'm getting tired. I got to be up at 5 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Uh, so I'm out of here. I will probably be back on playing some more of this again tomorrow. What is going on here? Yeah, I'll be back on again tomorrow. Thank you guys for coming. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm liking it. I don't know about you. I'm liking this. I think it's fun. It's really interesting. I want to finish this for sure. Might even do a couple playthroughs to see what's going on. If you are new here, Discord. Oh, I got it right in the first try. I never do. And Breaking Red Beard. Oh, bam. There you go. Guys, check that shit out. That'd be amazing if you did. So thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right? Have a good night. Sign out. See you later, dude. I have a jerky business? What does that mean? Like a beef jerky business? No, I fucking love it if I did. Or is it just because I'm a Sasquatch and the Sasquatch is the... Or I look like a Sasquatch and the Sasquatch is the... The spokesperson of Jack Link's beef jerky. Found with your name in El Paso. Really? That's funny. Take a picture of it and send it in the Discord somewhere in the food hole things. It'd be funny to see that. All right, guys, I'm here. Have a great night.